Hi guys, in this session we will explore how to check multiple values inside a column in the data frame and sort it out with the help of isin method. We have already learned the way of filtering the data based on one condition for one or multiple columns, but in this lesson I will teach you how to include multiple values of a column and sort it out based on those values. First we will cover the basic terminology which is not a professional approach, then we will explain the use of that isin method. So let's create a new file and call it isin method. Okay. Let's type in isin method and click enter and add a couple of lines and wait until the, this kernel will be connected here. Always pay attention to this one again. And then I will do what? Import my pandas library as pd. Before importing it, we always make sure that this kernel is connected here. Uh, so let's first import our dataset with the pd read csv. And we will go one step back. We already know where does all files is located here inside of the data folder after going one step back here. I will copy this file and paste it here and print it out df head click shift enter and it will print out what the result or data here. Mm, pd is not on because we haven't run it. First run this pandas then run this code. Okay, we have imported it. Now uh, I will do what? I will again explain or remind the basic structure of sorting the values based on those, these columns here. As I said before, we if we want to sort the values based on two columns, we have a basic structure. I don't talk about the query method. I talk about the usual method, which is widely used. Df uh, first, I will type in the column name, region, and then equals, as an example, Asia, right? If I want to print out all the rows, Mm, we inside with the Asia value. If I want to print the whole data frame with the Asia values here, I will type it like that. But if I want again add in condition here, uh, let's see that I want to add or, for example, df year year is greater than 2020, right? Click shift enter. And we'll print out error. If I want to uh, escape these errors, I will need to surround these did df columns with scopes. Click shift enter, and it will print out the result here. But that's not uh, the thing that I want to explain here. I want to sort the values based on one column here. The values, for example, if I have a region column, I want to print out uh, all the values with Asia and Europe as an example. I haven't explained it before, but uh, with a similar way, with the basic way, we can add this region column here, region, and again, instead of the 2020, I will do what? I will type in equal Europe as an example, Europe. Click shift enter and will print out all the rows with the Asia and Europe values here. Even I can do what? I can define these to the variables and print it like that. So as an example, if I in df region, for example, is equals to m1, right? And df region with uh, Europe is equal to m2 m2 and then if i want to print out it again i will type in the df m1 
or M2 M2 and click shift enter again the result is the same here but this structure does not shorten our code on the contrary it will have to call in the data frame and then each time we have to call the column names here like df region with these data frame column names we should call these values here but we don't want it to be it like that we might see or face the with selecting the values uh, over than 100 in that case we should overwrite this df region each time but i don't want to to write it like that instead i want what i want to find the solution with the isin method which is a great alternative to it so how do we use the isin method isin method is very easy to use first i will type in the df the column name here df region region then i will add in isin method and inside of the scope i will type in the values that i want to print like asia europe europe and click shift enter right now it will pop up the error let's see what will it print it's just loading it let's comment it out or today my server is not working well I don't know what's the problem here should not um, print the error yes it takes two position argo but three were given okay the problem is with this one I will have to entail it it's a list and click it out you could see that it just prints out the, if I have a region value here in the region column it prints out the true again if I have a Europe tool it again prints out the true but on the third row we have what uh, or the name in that case it just prints out the false here this is the original data here this one Africa the third row we have Africa that's why it prints out the false here but if I want to print out the whole data frame again I will call it with these square brackets from each side and click shift enter you could see that it will print out all the rows with Asia and Euro values here and each time uh, when you want to add element to this column the only thing that you are going to do is to add the value to it and not overwriting like this DF region each time here that's why it's easy to use you are just calling the column name and the isin method you say that if the Asia and Europe is in the region column here so print me all the rows related to that even I can add what Africa here Africa and click shift enter you will see it will include Africa too uh, we could even type in the numeric data but not within the quotes here if I copy it and I want to print out the numeric data here inside instead of these ones I will first change the column name here instead of the region I will type in the year and if I will say mm, 2018 2018 and 20 is inside of the column here this column so print me what out those columns here you could see it will print out all the rows uh, with the 2018 and 2020 values here but uh, these are the numeric values so you will not put them inside of this uh, single or double quotes no matter you are just typing it uh, as it is because this is the integer value here we can even remove it from the inside of the list if I want to remove uh, the value here I can just remove it without problem click shift enter and run it again uh, one minute yes run it and you can see it just prints out Asia and Europe values here so that's why isin method is very uh, useful to know you should know it while working with your data while you are filtering your data 
is and is very handy to use in practical in practice so i think that this short lesson was really important or useful for you thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel have a good day bye